All right, I got to walk and talk because I got a quick fishing rescue mission to go on. Um, I got a bucket and my trusty little creek fishing pole and some worms. And I'm going to go down here and save some fish's lives. All right, this pond's kind of behind my house. It's kind of in the subdivision next to me, but I've come over here a few, and fished a few times. But the drain from the pond goes through my property. And I was just down here looking around, wasn't even fishing. And I was like, what's down this little hole right here? Well, go down here and there's a little drain that comes out into a little deep pool. See if I can get down in here. A little deep pool of water that right now, oh, whoa. I see a nice bass in there. Right now, it's full of fish and full of water, but when the, when the, when the weather dries up, that's gonna go basically dry. So all the fish that are in there are probably gonna die. But it rained a lot last few days, and I see some good bluegill. I think some bass in there. I'm just gonna drop some worms in, try to pull these fish out, put them in the bucket, and throw them back in the pond. All right, I got some water for my bucket. Well, let's go catch some fish. I had these uh, worms in the fridge from last week, I think maybe a week and a half ago. I think there's still some in here. All right, I think these fish are gonna be hungry because they're kind of trapped. But I don't want to scare them all off because there is a, they can go up in there a few feet in the brush, but this little opening right here ought to be ready to get hammered as soon as I drop it in. There's one. Whoa, 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 yeah. I'm gonna scare them all the fish off. Dropped it right in there. What is that? I think it's one of them hybrids. Well, he's kind of fat in there. He must not have been doing too bad in there. Oh, yes. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Because they're all trapped in this little hole. I'm just going to scoop them on out. That's two. Number three. Can't really see it very good probably but because it's all the shade but the water is probably maybe two feet deep it's kind of clear i can see fish moving around but i can't see that well all i know as soon as i drop it in there there's fish just picking it out this is number four i think Get him to hang on. Yeah, I think these are some hybrids. I, th I think they put these hybrids in this pond over here behind my house. And because I've caught some big ones a couple times out of there. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. I know I saw some bass in there. Either they haven't hit or the bluegill are just taking all their food. Well, one thing, none of these fish in here are skinny. So they're eating something, that's for sure. Must be eating all the little ones in there. Yeah, they're like they look like bluegill, but they got bigger mouths. So I think they're like a cross between green sunfish and bluegill. But either way, they're fun to catch. They'd be great for the pond once I get them back in there.
Oh, good one. Oh, this is a green sunfish for sure. That one's just a regular green sunfish, but that's a good size fish. Oh, oh, good fish. Whoa, that's a good one. Oh, I'm about to fall down the hill here. Hate for him to get away. That'd be a fun catch for a kid or for me whenever I come fish this pond later on. Well, there's the drain that they probably went down. There's two drains like that. So I got about 10 fish or so. I don't remember how many there were. I'm gonna go ahead and let them go. All right, well, I'm going back with my head held high. I feel like I did my part. Help out the fishing community, keep the fish alive, and um, keep fishing the pond for other people to fish at. So pretty successful day, about 30 minutes. Caught eight or 10 of those uh, panfish. I thought I saw some bass in there but I wasn't really sure, it's hard to see. And if they were, they probably got skittish and went up under the brush. Maybe I'll go back and try again later, but it's really hard to cast in there. But all I could do was just drop the worm in, so. All right, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go home now. I told you I thought I saw a little bass in there. So this is about two days after I caught all those other ones. Came back, just dropped a little helgramite in there. Caught this little bass in about two seconds. Now I'm going to throw him back in the pond, the way this little bass can get caught again. This is about the biggest fish I've caught out of the pond since I've fished it.